Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. Today for our concept development lesson, we are going to work with tape diagrams. And as we're using tape diagrams, we're gonna be solving two-step word problems. And there might be sometimes where we're gonna to have to do more than one operation. So sometimes you might have to add and multiply. Sometimes you might have to add and subtract. Could be multiplying and dividing. It could be adding and dividing. So you'll just have to wait and see as we get into the lesson to see what um, operations are you gonna have to use. So our learning goal for today says, I can solve two-step word problems with four operations. So remember, operations, just a fancy word for saying, what um, are you going to do to solve the problem? Add, subtract, multiply, or divide. So let's jump in and get started with some two-step word problems today. So the first thing that you want to do as you're solving um, a two-step word problem is you have to read the problem and you kind of have to visualize in your mind what's happening in this problem and that will really help you to be able to draw your tape diagram that matches what's going on in each problem. So let's read this problem. You can read it with me if you'd like. So it says Joe has $173 in the bank. He earns the same amount of money each week for seven weeks and puts this money in the bank. So now Joe has $208. How much money does Joe earn each week? So here's how I would set up my tape diagram. Okay, so I kind of want to go like one sentence at a time. So he has $173 in the bank. So there's my first part of my tape diagram. Then I also know that he earns some money, right? It tells us here, he earns the same amount of money each week for seven weeks and puts this money in the bank. But they haven't told me how much money that is. So I have my next part of my tape diagram and we're gonna say that that is M because that's the money that he puts in the bank. I don't know how much that is because they didn't tell me in this problem. So that's kind of like my question mark right now. But I also have something else to label on this tape diagram because I know some more information. I know that after he had some money in the bank and then he earned more money and put it in the bank, he then had $208. So I still can't figure out this M yet. I don't know because I know that total is 208 and I know that he started with $173 in the bank. So in order for me to figure out how much this is, which operation do you think I'm going to use? Do you think I'm going to multiply 173 and 208? Do you think I'm going to divide those two numbers? Am I going to add those two numbers? Or am I going to subtract those two numbers? What do you think if I want to find out this missing piece over here in our tape diagram? If 208 is the total for both parts of my tape diagram, am I going to add, subtract, multiply, or divide to find out how much money he put in the bank after he worked. I am going to subtract. If you said subtract, awesome job with that one. If you didn't, let's talk about why you might want to, um, or how you can analyze this problem to see that you need to subtract. So first of all, here's a kind of a good hint. We haven't learned how to multiply or divide numbers this big yet between these two, so you can cross that off right there. So now you're left with adding or subtracting. Well, I know when I add numbers, they're going to get bigger. So 208 is already the total that he's going to have at the end of putting money in the bank. So if I'm adding those numbers, I can't get a number that's bigger than the total of 208. So because of that, now I know I have to subtract to solve this problem. So I'm gonna use the standard algorithm and I'm going to start in the ones place. So eight minus three, is five. Oh, zero minus seven. Oh goodness, I can't do that. What do I do, friends? Yeah, you got it. You have to go over and decompose a hundred. So I'm going to decompose one hundred and one hundred. If I have two and take away one, it's going to turn into one. And that hundred that I borrowed now turns into ten tens because we know that ten tens equal one hundred. So now I need to subtract. 10 minus 7 is 3. And 1 minus 0, or 1 minus 1 is 0. So I'm left with $35. 
So M is worth $35. So the money when he worked or had um, earned to be able to put into the bank, that was $35 over the seven weeks. Now, notice how it said he made the same amount of money each week for seven weeks. So this total over here of 35, he made that over seven weeks, but he made the same amount each week. So that tells me that I have to do another step to this problem because I need to know how much he earned each week. So I'm gonna split up this part of my tape diagram into seven parts because he worked for seven weeks. So let's split that up. So there's my seven parts. Now I'm gonna put a W in here because that's standing for each week, just so we don't get confused. So here's week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, week six, and week seven. So W represents the number of dollars he earned each week. And my problem is if I know for total that he earned 35 and I know that it was over seven weeks, I can divide 35 divided by seven. And that's gonna give me my W for each week what he earned. So I want you to see, can you come up with what's 35 divided by seven? Oh my gosh, you guys are so smart. 35 divided by seven is five. Also remember friends, if you guys know your multiplication facts and your skip counting, you could use multiplication to solve this problem or even skip counting. You know one of your factors is seven, so multiply by sevens until you get to 35. So you could count, um, skip count by sevens and each time that you say a number, put up one finger and then the total number of fingers that you have left, that's how many you counted by. So let's try it. So seven, that's one finger, 14, 21, 28, 35. So as I counted that, I counted seven five times. So seven times five is 35 or 35 divided by seven is five. Oh, I'm sorry, friends. Whoopsie daisies. That should say five. So W equals five. So he earned five dollars each week. Oh yeah. Great job, friends, solving two-step word problems. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete next for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. <laughs>